In this training, we'll examine one methodology for verifying or creating the 34.92 degree sector for throws from a circle. This includes finding the accurate center of the circle, setting the proper sector angle, and creating other control mechanisms at the circle. For more information, please see the IAAF publication The Referee or consult a USA Track and Field or IAAF certified official. A throwing circle is not necessarily always a circle. It's important to realize that some throwing facilities may not be accurate. For example, a circle may actually be ovular in shape with a diameter along the axis of throwing shorter than the diameter perpendicular to it. One could also have the opposite situation where the diameter along the axis of the throw is longer. This may be more of an egg-shaped facility. While it may appear that the center point of the circle is unchanged, if the center is determined by measuring across three different vectors, it may better represent the true center of the circle. This training proposes one methodology of finding the true center of the circle being used. First, measure the diameter of the circle in the direction of throwing. In the shot put, hammer throw, and weight throw events, the diameter would be 2.135 meters or 7 feet 0 inches. In the discus event, the diameter should be 2.50 meters or 8 feet 2 and 1 half inches. Mark the midpoint of this line either 1.0675 or 1.25 meters respectively. Next, measure the diameter of the circle on a line perpendicular to the axis you just used, making sure that it passes over the reference point you just marked. Again, mark the appropriate radius point either 1.0675 or 1.25 meters. Take a third measurement anywhere between the first two. This will help you determine how out of round the circle may or may not be. If it is a true circle, the three points will overlap. If it is not, then you need to determine a point that is closest to where the three lines intersect and use that as the circle center. Using this diagram, We'll look at creating or verifying some control features of the venue, as well as creating or verifying the 34.92 degree sector. Let's begin by creating or verifying the sector width. This process is best done with three certified tapes and at least three competition officials. Judge 1 will hold two tape measures with the zero point at the center of the circle. Judges 2 and 3 will hold each of those tapes at the 20 meter mark. Either Judge 2 or Judge 3 will hold the third tape at the zero end mark, making sure that it coincides with the 20 meter mark on the tape that he or she is holding. The other judge will hold the 12 meter mark to coincide with the 20 meter mark on the first tape that they have. It's important to note that the inside edges of the tapes, in other words the ones that are nearest to each other, define the outside edge of the sector. When sector lines are laid down, either by a marking material or by marking tape, the inner edge of the line should align with the inner edge of the tape measure. If constructed properly, the marked line or marking tape lies outside the sector. Let's also look at some important control mechanisms. The width of the marked line or marking tape for the sector should be no less than 50 millimeters in width or approximately 2 inches. It should extend far enough from the circle that it is beyond the distance of any anticipated throws. There should also be two markings that define the rear half of the circle. These should both be 50 millimeters, or approximately 2 inches in width, and should extend a minimum of 750 millimeters, or approximately 29 and 1 half inches, from the inner edge of the circle, along a line that passes through the center of the circle, and is perpendicular to the line in the direction of throwing. It's also important to note that these markings lie in the front half of the circle. Therefore, the edge of the marking material nearest the back of the circle should lie on the line bisecting the circle. 